Welcome to Beating Cancer Daily. Beating stage four cancer for 30 years still takes my breath away every time I say it. I'm Saren, founder of the Comedy Cures Foundation, and I hope you'll join me for just a few minutes daily for the next 365 days so we may laugh, learn, maybe cry a little as we live our best days beating cancer daily together. Today, I want to build on the very first episode of Beating Cancer Daily. That episode was called 2020 Cancer-Free Vision. Today, I want to take it one step further into the physical, and I want to talk about vision boards. Now, If you've listened to Beating Cancer Daily, you know I'm a very visual learner, but I know there are people who don't know about vision boards or they're not visual learners. And I want to share this with you because it may help you think past the reality that we're in right now, which is what part of your cancer journey or what part of your survivorship that you may be stuck in and not be able to have the best quality of life that you could be having, or you actually aspire to having a very different life and you just don't know how to get there. Vision boards are interesting because they give you a clear direction for where you want to go in many areas of your life. Now, you could want to do a vision board about your financial life, your physical life, your spiritual life, your family life or relationships, or even dreams that you have that you think are so far beyond your reach, but by actually putting them into the concrete physical world and getting them out of our heads, hopefully we can start to manifest them. Now, many psychologists feel that thoughts precede our behavior. So our mindset drives our behavior that then drives the outcomes of our lives. I believe this. I feel that I live this every day. I am a big believer in manifesting things that I want, things that I want to change. So a vision board is just a very simple way to start that process. Now, a lot of people are going to say, oh, I'm not creative. I can't do art projects. I'm not good at this. It really does not have to be fancy. You can make them physically or you can make them digitally. It's how you like to see things. I like both. I like to have a reminder in my phone, but I also like to have a physical representation that I can look at several times throughout the day. So some people keep these across from their bed. So it's what they see every morning when they wake up and what they see at night before they go to bed. Some people do that in the bathroom so that when they get into the bathroom multiple times a day, they are reinforcing the vision board that they want to manifest. Now, you're saying, okay, so how do I actually do it? There are sites online that can actually give you a template. So you don't even have to be creative. You can just plug your thoughts in and boop, print it out. So the two that I know of are Canva and Vista, and both can allow you to do it for free. If you want fancy bells and whistles, then you can pay a little more. But there are many sites, if you type in vision board, that give you a template so that you can just put your ideas in. But I'm going to go back to the physical representation of it, because I think that when you actually make something with your hands, it reinforces the concept even more. That's a little old school teacher in me, but you can make the digital version too. It's so beautiful and you can hang that up. So materials, it can be as simple as a piece of paper. You can get a poster board at a local drugstore or art supply store. You can cut a piece of a cardboard box out if you want it to have a sturdier background and you don't want to go buy poster board, just a box that you have laying around your house, or you can pick up at the supermarket and just do it on a side of cardboard from a box. 
then if you have any markers or pens or crayons, you can use that if you want to add some color to it or just use a pencil or pen. Next, a lot of people like to collage vision boards. So they want to use images. Pictures are wonderful ways to make a vision board. Some people just write words or type out words and print them out, but pictures are really very helpful. So you can get free pictures from a site called Upsplash, Canva, Pinterest, Instagram. You can print these out and they can become part of your vision board. Some people do a vision board for each part of their life that they want to change. Some people just do a vision board that's the next year of their life or the next five years of their life, and they collage all different aspects. So they'll put a picture of what they want their financial life to look like, what they want their home to look like, what they want their family relationships to look like, what they want their kids to aspire to. So you can picture one board with each category, or as I said, you can do a different board for every category. I would suggest starting humble in the sense of try your hand at one, and then you can do subcategory boards after that if this strategy works for you. Looking at it, that's the next really important part. Taking time every day to quietly sit in front of your vision board, either on your phone or on your wall. Some do it on their mirror. So every time they look in the mirror in the morning and in the evening, they actually are forced to focus on their vision board. Some people use fabric, stylized fonts, sketches, illustrations, logos and icons, personal images. If there was a photograph where you really felt great in your life and you want to feel like that more, some people put humor on them to trigger laughter when they look at it. So it's just not all about seriousness, about achieving that they're funny quotes or funny jokes that they like to reinforce their behavior with. It's so personal. You can do this any way you want. There's no right or wrong. The key is that you take a moment in front of that board and you really inhale, take in those images, picture them in your mind's eye and look at your board and really take a moment to connect with what's on that board. Some people meditate in front of it. Some people pray in front of it, but it's really being one with where you want your life to go. I found this so helpful when I was in active cancer treatment, just to constantly reinforce that I could have a cancer-free life and that I could manifest a life beyond cancer, not only for me, but what that life would look like with my daughter and eventually with a partner. So I saw a little vision board humor and I thought that you might enjoy it. It's from the consumer's voice and the cartoon is because kitchen buying should be fun. And then it says, Sally has a vision for more than just her kitchen. And then this woman is holding a vision board in front of a salesman and she says, this is my vision. And then the salesman says, I'm sorry, ma'am. There's just no way for us to turn your husband into a personal chef. (laughs) So I hope just looking at this humorously helps you want to do your vision board. I can't wait to hear how this goes for you. You know, I love when you go to comedycures.org and you share with me the impact of this strategy and what it's having on your life. And even if it didn't work for you, maybe a way that we could refine it so that you connected to it more. You can hit the record button or you can hit the write us button and let me know. 
If you want more help with visualization, please go back to the very first episode, 2020 Cancer-Free Vision. I really lay out how to visualize in that episode without a vision board. I'm so excited for you to start visualizing your life, even if you don't make a vision board, sitting for moments and visualize what life could be like as you want to see it going forward. Have a blessed day and I'll see you tomorrow. I hope you guys know this, but Beating Cancer Daily is a listener and donor supported podcast and community. So if you have some extra change, I'd love you to go to comedycures.org and make a donation today of whatever level is comfortable for you. And it will be tax deductible to the extent allowed by law because Comedy Cures is a nonprofit. 501c3 organization founded from my chemo chair April 1999 and we've been going strong ever since so please consider making a donation today and help our community and this podcast thrive thanks so much see you tomorrow guess what time it is it's time for me to read the disclaimer Beating Cancer Daily and the Membership Circle are not in lieu of medical advice or treatment. They are for entertainment purposes only. Please consult your healthcare team to review your best strategy. Thanks for listening.